Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West channel. Has it been hot enough for you? Here in upstate South Carolina, the last three or four days, it's been 100 degrees and it's gonna get that hot again today. So, don't really wanna get out here and do any bow drill or hand drill or anything that's too physical. Polishing up the bottom of a aluminum can and polishing up a tablespoon for solar ignition. Now this tablespoon has a little bit deeper bowl on it than a lot do, and I think that helps. So when you're picking one, make sure you pick one that has a little depth to it. I like to also show you when I'm using tinder straight off the ground. So let me show you me gathering up some leaves over here. Here's our Blue Magic Metal Polishing Cream. And just like anything you polish, take put a little dab on there. Keep on buffing it. It'll turn very black. And however many times you need to do that to get a mirror finish is what you're trying to accomplish. That Blue Magic Metal Polish, you can buy it at any auto parts store for about eight to $10. Boy, that really turned dark. And you want to keep keep buffing it until all the blackness is gone. There's just a little bit of blackness on that paper towel. I'll keep on buffing it. That is really shiny. The spoon, I believe it could be shinier than that. Let me see if it just needs to be buffed. Yeah. That's all it needed. It must have still had some of that residue on there. And I also want to go ahead and use up this twine here. Every time I try to fire roll with it, it's very difficult. And that's because uh, the oils that they used on it when they were manufacturing it, I am supposing. So I'm ready to use it up and find something else that doesn't have as much oil on it. Six, 12, 18 doesn't really need to be broken down it'll ignite just like it is 1130 Sun just about overhead char cloth all you have to remember on this now is to sort of not turn it flat and black out the Sun turn it on its side so that the photons can keep on getting to this collector here. And right on the ground. Always find the hottest part of the focal point on your finger first, always. You're just wasting time if you don't do that. If you try to go straight to the char cloth, you're making a mistake. That should ignite it. I'm gonna stick it up here and try not to interfere with the photons coming down from the sun. And the way that you can tell when it's ignited, like it's already ignited, 
is it puts on a layer of ash and so that focal point reflects off of that ash and it gets very very bright It's a good way to get rid of 18 feet of oily twine, jute twine. Good. Let's try the aluminum can now. All right, it's gonna be the same process. We use some char cloth. We'll make sure that we don't turn it flat and block the sun out, block the photons. We'll find the hottest part of the focal point on our finger first. Oh, and the sky is very misty too. That, that first one lit up really quick for such a misty sky. You can tell, now I can see the sun is right there and I've had all kinds of practice, you know, aiming it at the sun perfectly, but you can tell by the shadow, you can tell by the shadow that right here is the smallest shadow possible. So that's how you can zero in on the sun perfectly. Oh, that immediately ignited. It is very, very bright and it's already ignited. And we might as well turn this stove towards the wind, which is about right here. All right, y'all. This is fun. I realize. We got smoke in the way again, as usual. Let's let the smoke clear out before I continue. Now, I'm just like you are. When I first started learning fire techniques, I wanted to find out how I could go out in the woods and take all natural materials only and make a fire. And, you know, I've, I eventually got to where I could do that. So this might not appeal to you to have to actually buy polish, polish a spoon, polish a can up, but it's a fun technique and it's all good practice. You learn about how to handle tinder bundles. You learn about how to tighten up a focal point because out in nature, you are gonna be able to find water bottles and a creek and you are gonna be able to do solar ignition out in nature. 
So there's all kinds of things that you can learn about handling fire, manipulating it, and producing it. So I appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.